or toll free at 888-545-9282. 737 is Jersey Central on the new talk radio WCTC, the voice of Central Jersey. Contest coming up sometime between now and 8 o'clock. Going to give you a chance to win some tickets to see Hal Holbrook's amazing one-man show that is called Mark Twain Tonight. It's at the State Theater on Saturday, October 3rd. And you've got a chance to score my last pair of tickets sometime between now and 8. Joining me now on the Raritan Bay Medical Center Jersey Newsmaker Hotline, I want to welcome in my special guest. He's the founder and CEO of a company called TerraCycle, which is based in Trenton. And they're going to be featured in a television series coming up very soon. So let's welcome in uh, Tom Zaki, who joins us this morning here on WCTC. Tom, good morning. It's Burt Barron. How you doing? Hey, Bert. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. Good to talk to you. Uh, before we talk about this uh, te- docu-series uh, that your company is going to be featured in, uh, talk about TerraCycle. What's uh, what's your company all about that you're doing there in Trenton? Sure. Um, TerraCycle is a global recycling business that focuses on how we recycle things that can't traditionally be recycled. So, you know, not like aluminum cans and uh, plastic bottles, which you can very easily recycle you know, across the world. Things like cigarette butts or chewing gum, uh, uh, toothbrushes, chip bags. Um, TerraCycle specializes in making those things uh, recycled. Recycling chewing gum? How do you do that? Yeah. Wow. Absolutely. So in every type of waste stream, uh, we have to look at how do we collect it. So chewing gum, for example, we work with cities who put out uh, infrastructure in the city where you can deposit your chewing gum. Same with cigarette butts. It's a, a very similar process. And then we collect the waste, uh, get it in. Uh, something like chewing gum, you can actually melt into a plastic. Turns out chewing gum's not really food. It's more like a plastic product. And you know, something like cigarettes, you shred them, separate the uh, organic pieces, the ash, tobacco, paper, compost, and take the filter uh, and make that into yet another different plastic product. Wow, that is amazing. So basically everything can be uh, recycled. Yeah, it sounds like you can. Now, you started your company, you were 20. You dropped out of Princeton to start uh, TerraCycle. Really, it's just something that you, you've been very passionate about protecting the environment and recycling efforts uh, here in New Jersey? Well, absolutely. Um, you know, we've, uh, TerraCycle became a really fun idea. And, uh, you know, not only are we headquartered in New Jersey, but today TerraCycle operates in 21 countries around the world. So we've had a chance to really grow. Um, and it's uh, tremendous fun, and it's great to be headquartered in Trenton, but being able to do this uh, across the planet. Wow, it is such an important thing. You know, when, when we live in really, uh, Tom, the, the world we live in is such a disposable society that we live in where everything is, you use it and throw it away. Uh, to, to step up these recycling efforts is really an incredible thing uh, just to, to make the environment and the world better for generations to come. Uh, w- without uh, your vision and what you're doing here, you're making a tremendous difference. Well, we really appreciate that. And I think uh, the key message here is, you know, TerraCycle is cool and so is recycling. But the real answer to, you know, to listeners out there, if you care about garbage, is you can't really recycle your way out of it. That's a good reaction to the problem. But the real thing to do is buy products differently. You know, instead of buying things that become garbage really quickly, maybe think about buying stuff a little bit more durable and say it'll last a little longer and maybe you'll get a better experience with it. And best of all, it won't become garbage as fast. Yeah, very important. My guest is Tom Zaki. He is the uh, CEO of a Trenton, New Jersey-based TerraCycle, and he's going to be featured in a, a television show that is coming up. You'll be able to view on the Pivot Network. Now, the name of the show uh, is called uh, the Human Resources. And uh, are you on the episode that's on tonight at 10, Tom? Yeah, well, actually, uh, Human Resources is uh, uh, so it's a 10-part series, uh, 30-minute episodes, and it's all about TerraCycle. Each uh, episode follows um, you know, what it's like to uh, work at, uh, at our uh, place in Trenton. And uh, we sort of split each episode into a human profile. So we thought, you know, one of the uh, each episode will follow sort of a different character. Uh, these are all of uh, our employees, um, you know, and what it's like to uh, live and work at the business. And then the other side follows how we create some incredible solutions, whether it's um, how we recycle cigarette butts or how do we make uh, toothbrushes and toothpaste tubes into playgrounds. Um, and a new episode airs every Friday uh, at 10 o'clock Eastern uh, on Pivot. Very cool. And uh, you're, you and your company are featured in the episode tonight, uh, so we'll look for that on the Pivot Network tonight at 10 o'clock. The program is called Human Resources, uh, so we'll be looking to watch that tonight. That's very cool. Uh, Tom, if there was one thing you could kind of take out of the stream, if there was one thing that's really just horrible for the environment, it's difficult for what traditional recyclers do or for the specialty work that you do, what is that one of two things? It used to be styrofoam and juice boxes were the two things that were most harmful. Are they still the, the bad guys in the list, or is something else now just as bad as those two products? 
Well, those, you know, those are challenges. There's no question. If I had to uh, uh, say two things, I'd say uh, dirty diapers, because they make up two and a half percent of consumer waste. Wow. Phenomenal percentage of the new father um, definitely uh, can appreciate that. <laughs> right. And the other, I would say, is cigarette butts, since they're the most littered waste stream in the planet. Um, and what's great is actually TerraCycle has a free national program for cigarette butts. If you go to TerraCycle.com, you can uh, take part. And we also have paid programs for dirty diapers, so you can, uh, if you uh, agree with me, you can solve both through us. Do we go back to the uh, the reusable uh, cloth diapers, or what do we do? That, that disposable diaper was such a convenience when that thing came out, right? It is, you know, and like as a, as a father uh, recently, like I, I tried the, uh, you know, the cloth diaper, and we did it. Now, it's a huge amount of work, and there's sure. a lot of questions in, uh, uh, on after you wash the cloth diaper and put all that energy of your washing machine uh, into it, does it really come out more environmentally friendly? Mm. And so, uh, you know, that's still a, an open debate. Um, the, uh, you know, so, so the key is uh, if you do use the disposable diapers, then see if you can, you know, find somehow to recycle them. And if you use the cloth diapers as, uh, as we do, um, you know, the biggest thing we found is try to wash as infrequently as possible and really consider washing with cold water because uh, uh, then you can save a lot of energy. Yeah, exactly. Uh, how many uh, employees, uh, Tom, does TerraCycle employ? How many people you have working for you around the world? Uh, we're about at 150 employees, um, and uh, that's all like, you know, office type folks, half in Trenton uh, and then half spread around the world from Tokyo to Sydney and Europe and so on. Um, all of the processing TerraCycle does, what we do is we work with existing recycling companies and teach them the way to recycle these really unique materials. Um, and so there's probably another 500 people who uh, work for us uh, who do the manufacturing indirectly. Excellent. Do you work at all in conjunction with the county levels uh, of the recycling efforts that are happening in, like, say, Mercer County, where you're headquartered out of? Any, any work between you and the regular traditional recycling departments there? Well, absolutely, yeah. What we tend to do when we work with uh, government or county organizations, uh, one of our most successful projects has been citywide cigarette recycling. So while not yet in, well, I think uh, maybe in some, uh, Trenton has a little bit, and I think Newark, but um, large cities uh, uh, across the U.S., like St. Louis, uh, New Orleans, uh, Washington, D.C., and a number of others, now have citywide cigarette recycling through TerraCycle. And basically how it works is there's bins across the uh, the city about every 10 yards or so, and you can, uh, if you smoke, you can put your cigarettes in there, and then uh, we collect it and recycle it. But again, here's the key message. The answer to cigarette waste or any waste at large is, in that case, don't smoke, and there won't be any cigarette litter. Um, so recycling is good, but it's just a reaction to the issue. It's not the actual answer. Gotcha. Yeah, if only it were that easy, right? That would uh, solve a lot of problems. But uh, we'll look for well, you. Uh, exactly. uh, yeah, we'll look for you and your company, TerraCycle, tonight uh, on the episode of Human Resources. It's Friday night, 10 o'clock. Look for it on the Pivot Network. And, uh, Tom, how does someone get some more information about TerraCycle? Well, the best way to do that is to go to our website, which is uh, TerraCycle.com. Um, and we have a lot of free programs. There's a lot of ways to uh, uh, work with us where uh, we cover all the costs. And there's also some paid options as well. But definitely check it out and uh, send us some garbage. Terrific. Good stuff. Great to talk to you this morning. And congratulations on being featured on the TV show. And, uh, Great work that you're doing uh, for New Jersey and really globally, uh, Tom. This is this is going to change the world for uh, generations to come, we hope. And I want to thank you for your time this morning, and uh, good luck and congratulations on everything going forward, all right? Well, right on. I really appreciate it. Have a good one. You too. Thank you. All right, Tom Zaki, uh, he is the uh, CEO of TerraCycle, based in 